So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Dalisco Learnings and in this video we will talk about composite design pattern. Now as we have discussed in the theory, composite design pattern is as part of structural design pattern. Uh, so again if you have, if you are watching this video without seeing the uh, theory video, do watch that video first and then come back to this video so that this code will make more sense because we will be focusing more on the practical aspect here. But just to give a quick introduction what exactly composite design pattern is, so composite design pattern is used to create a structure of an object where example let's say let's say if you want to achieve a tree structure here example uh, let's say if you when you when you buy a new computer or whenever you, whenever you want to assemble a computer in a computer we have lots of well, lots of components right so basically we can list down those components we have a computer computer will have two things a cabinet and peripheral devices right when i say peripheral devices i'm talking about keyboard mouse uh, then monitor speakers and then when we talk about cabinet, inside cabinet we have some more components, right? We have motherboard, we have hard drive, but inside hard drive also, I mean, in fact, motherboard also we have two things. We have uh, we have RAM and we have CPU, right? So when you have this structure, we have when you have this hierarchy that if you want to talk about RAM, it is inside a computer. Inside the computer, we have specifically designed inside, it, it, inside your cabinet. Inside your cabinet, it is specifically on your motherboard and inside motherboard you have RAM right it goes in that sequence so uh, when you talk about the component if you have a sub part of it example cabinet has a motherboard so cabinet will be called as a composite object because it has something inside it but let's say if you talk about the hard drive we don't have anything inside hard drive right it is called as leaf node now just to explain this concept we have this we have I've created this code where I have a I have a class which is composite test which which has a main method and then we have another class here, which I mean another file, which is computer part, which has two classes. One is leaf and second is composite. So what I'll be having inside leaf, uh, example of leaf would be hard drive. Uh, it will be hard drive. It would be RAM, CPU and all those things. We will not going for all the objects inside a computer, but some of them. So to achieve this, what we need here is we need, we, so the main, main, the main thing is here. If I ask you the price of a RAM, you have to be very specific. RAM will cost you around 2000 rupees, right? You can convert that into dollars, but let's say it is 2000 rupees. Or when you talk about, uh, when you talk about a keyboard, it will, it will cost you around 500 rupees. So we have certain cost for each object, right? And what I'm talking, whatever object I'm talking about now, they are leaf object, right? But then if I ask you, what's the, what's the price of peripheral devices? Now when I say, show me the price of peripheral device, you should be able to do that. Because whatever you can do with the leaf object, the same thing is should be possible with the help of composite object. That means this leaf and composite need to share some common feature. Now both this are a component, right? So I will say, I will create an interface here so that we, we will get some common thing between these two. So we'll say this is component. So I will, I'm creating a, a interface called as component. Inside this interface, I want, so both these classes need to have a common method, which is public void show price because I'm, I'm focused I'm, I'm more concerned about the price here in fact when you talk about the interface we don't have to create we don't have to assign the modifier there both these classes leaf and composite need to implement that uh, interface will say implements will say implements component oh, not compatible it's component let's typo there okay and then same goes here will say implements component so what we have here is we have two classes, leaf and composite, both are implementing show method. Now just to, we, which is compulsory for us to define that method, right? So I will say define the method. I'm not going to specify anything now. And the same thing is applicable for this one. I'm saying composite implement the show method and that's done. But then when I say composite, so composite will have list of objects, right? So it will have list of uh, components. So what I will do here is I will say list of list of component because of course when you say you are going for so one composite object will have lots of component now again when you say one composite object it can have a leaf object or a composite object right example when you talk about a cabinet now a cabinet is a composite object now inside a cabinet we have motherboard which is itself a composite object and then we have a hard drive which is a leaf node right so we'll say list of components because a composite and a leaf node both will be supported by a component, right? So I will say this is list. Okay, uh, I have imported the package. Yes, let's do that. Okay, then we'll say components. We'll say components. Okay, then watch. 
Uh, in fact, I forgot one more thing. Both this, uh, both this leaf and the composite should have a variable which is int price because we need a price there, right? And in fact, in every leaf node, I also want a name there so that we'll get the name as well. And composite, I don't want price here. I want, I just want name here. Let's say name. Let's let's see what else we need later. Okay, so we have to create components here, right? So I will say new add a list because that's what we want. We want to create a list of objects, and that's it. We got the add a list here. So this composite, this composite should be able to add the component, and you should be able to remove the component if you want. But time in will only say how to add the component. So what I will do, I will say public, I will say public void add component, which will, which will be able to add the component, whichever we want. And to add the component, what I will do here is I will pass an object, I will say component, I will say component comp, we can create any object, doesn't matter. And then in here we'll say components dot add, and we'll pass the com object, which is com. We are done, done with, our, with our work, right? So we have, so we are adding the components there. Again, you can use remove method as well, but that's not, let's not do that here. We can do that later if you want. Okay, and then when I, when I say I want to show the price, okay, don't want, let's not, let's not do anything here. Now, if you go back to our comp, to, to our leave, I want to show the price, right? And how do you show the price? It's very simple. We'll simply print the price. It's that simple, right? We are printing the price. We can also print the name as well. We can say name colon, uh, in fact, name double quote, uh, what I'm doing here. So double quotes, colon, and then price. Okay, so pr I'm printing name, then colon and the price, so that it will it will be printing name and price both. Seems good. Okay, so we got the leaf class here, we got the composite class here, and both these classes, leaf and component, composite ex implements component, right? Now what else, oh, what else, what else? Now when I say I want to show the price, so before printing the price, I want to print the name of the company which, which I'm working with. So I will print uh, system.printlen. So let's say when I say composite, I'm talking about let's say cabinet. It's a it's one one it's one composite object. Uh, peripheral, it's one component object. So I will say I want to print the name. So I will print I will print a name here. I mean, I'm printing the name. In fact, this the, ignore this output. I guess this is this is what I was doing some experiment before. So that was the output of that code. Let's let's ignore that. And yeah, so once we have this, once we are printing the name, after the after printing the name, I also want to print the price of individual component, right? How do you add, how do you print the price? So what I will do is to print the price. Uh, okay, first of all, we have to print the price of the components, right? So that means we have to iterate. To print each component price, we have to iterate using a for loop. So I will use a for loop here. I will say component c colon it's components. Again, you, uh, we can use normal for loop or we can use enhanced for loop. That's your choice. Let's print the value now. Now, how can you print the price? It's very simple. Just simply say C dot show price. Because when you say show price, we are so, okay, now, now this is tricky, okay? Now, since I'm not specifying leaf or composite, I'm saying component. The component object dot show price. Now, the component which we are getting, which we are adding in the components, if let's say if the first component is composite, the second component is composite. The third one is leaf. What will happen for the third one? It is simply print the price, right? So let's say if you are going for the third component here, which is actually a leaf, leaf, it will print the price. But let's say the first one, second one, which is your composite, what it will do is for that composite, it will again call the leaf nodes. So it will go, it will traverse, okay, from composite, composite, leaf. Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's let's print this so that you will get the out. Let's you will you will get the idea there. But then uh, we are using these two variables, right? How do you assign those two? How do you assign these two values, price and name? And what about this name? For that, what I will I will do is I will use a, a constructor to assign the value. So I will say a source, and we'll say constructor which can take two variables, and we are done with that. Okay, so we have we got a constructor which can take two values, and then uh, in the composite as well, to assign this value name, I will use a constructor. So I will say right click and we'll say source constructor. Okay, with, with, with name, no, I don't need components there, just name. Okay, we got the constructor as well. Now why I'm doing that? Because when I want to create the object, I can assign the value there itself. Let's start with the first one. Now when you say let's, let's create this hierarchy, we have a computer. Computer will have two parts, cabinet and peripheral. Cabinet will have hard drive. 
and motherboard. A peripheral will have keyboard mouse. We'll not create all the objects. Let's go for one or two. So let's create the first one. I want a leaf. I will say leaf uh, motherboard. A uh, motherboard is not a leaf. We'll say hard drive. We'll say HD equal to. Uh, first of all, we have to import the package, I guess. Is it the problem? Uh, okay, let's import the package. No need because they are the same package now. We'll say new leaf. So we got our first component. In fact, instead of saying leaf, I would also say component, right? And anyway, they all are component. So it doesn't matter. So we'll say component HD equal to new leaf. Now, while creating this leaf, I will I have to specify the parameters, right? So I will say the name is hard drive. Okay, we'll say hard drive. And the price for this is, let's say, 4,000 rupees. Again, I'm going for rupees here. Okay, and we are getting an error because I guess I'm missing the sequence here. The sequence is, oh, it's price and then the name. So I will cut this part. I will say comma and we'll set the uh, name there. Oh, okay. So we'll say this is, oh, let's say, let's, let's, let's say SDD, okay, instead of saying the entire thing. That's the first component which we have here. The second, let's go for second, then third, then fourth. So let's go, let's go for five leaf here. And this one is mouse and let's name it as a mouse. And then we got a monitor and let's say this is a monitor. And then let's go for motherboard, but then motherboard is not a leaf, right? So I will say a RAM and that's your RAM. And then we need one more, which is let's say CPU and that's your CPU. So we got this four leaf object or five leaf object. Now, once you got the leaf object, what we need here is the composite objects, right? Uh, so we'll say component again, because all, everything is component, right? So we'll say component. And this time we'll go for peripheral, we'll say ph equal to new, uh, we'll say composite. Uh, am I missing spelling here? We'll say composite. What's that? Yeah, composite. And then we have to pass a name, right? We'll, we'll say this is peripheral. Just ignore this spelling there. I will say peri because I'm very bad with uh, spellings here. So we'll say peri. And then we'll say component, uh, we need one more component here. In fact, we need, we need three. One is peripheral, then we have, uh, what else? Cabinet, and then we add, we'll, we'll add one more. In fact, we need two more. One is motherboard, we'll say M motherboard, MB. And then we have a computer, right? Because ultimately we need a computer, right? And then this would be cabinet, right? And then this would be motherboard, MB, and this would be a computer. So we'll say computer. Now we, once we got five objects and then we, once we got five components, once we, once we got five uh, name here, I mean five uh, composite objects, let's add this composite object, right? Now how do we add this composite object? It's very simple. In peripheral devices, we have, so we have to add HD here. So we'll say ph dot add component. Oh, unfortunately I don't have add component inside that method. So I will, what I will do, I will go for composite here just to be on safe side because I don't have this method there, right? So you have two choices. Either you can you can so you can set the method as components or composite. So what I, what I can do, I can say ph dot add component, and we can in peripheral I want to add a mouse. So I will say mouse, and in peripheral I will add what a monitor, which is monitor. Then so we got the peripheral there. Let's go for cabinet now. So we'll say inside the cabinet what we need is so we'll say cabinet dot add component and this would be uh, inside cabinet, inside uh, cabinet will be having a hard drive we'll say hd and we'll, inside cabinet will be also having motherboard but then we have not created the object yeah we have created the object for motherboard so we'll say add component and we'll say mb now once we have added the peripheral and the cabinet but inside motherboard we have two things right we have ram and cpu so we have to do that as well so first you have to add into motherboard we'll say add dot i mean mb dot Add component, we have to add two. One is CPU. Oh, why it is in capital? It should be in small, right? So we got CPU and we also add a RAM here. So we'll say MB dot add component and we'll say RAM. So we are adding RAM, we are adding CPU and RAM in motherboard. Then we are adding motherboard and hard drive inside the cabinet. And then we are adding mouse monitor inside peripheral, right? We are adding, we are adding lots of components. I know I can feel now I'm actually building a computer here. I'm assembling a computer. And then we have to add peripheral and the cabinet inside your computer, right? So we'll say computer, which is computer, which is computer here. And then say add component. We have to add two things. One is ph, which is peripheral. And then we have to add, we'll say computer dot add component. We have to add uh, what we have done. We have done with the, okay, hold on. So we added the uh, peripheral. Let's also add the cabinet. 
So you can see the hierarchy here, right? So in the mother, inside motherboard, we have peripheral and we have cabinet. Inside cabinet, we have a hard drive and motherboard. Inside motherboard, you have RAM and uh, CPU. It's a very big code. And ultimately, if I say, uh, if I want to print only one, so just to, just to show you a demonstration, I will print the price of RAM. I will say RAM dot show price, just one price, okay? If I run this code, you can see it is printing only RAM price, which is 4,000. Is it 4,000 RAM price? Yes, we have setting it 4,000. Oh, we have all the same price here. Let's say mouse is 500. A monitor is, let's say, 8,000. And then we'll go for RAM, which is, uh, which is 3,000. And then we'll go for CPU, which is 9,000, just to have a different values there. You can see for RAM, we got 3,000. But the moment I say, I don't want the price of RAM, I want, to, I want the price of entire peripheral, I will say ph dot show price. So you can see I got peripheral and I'm also printing the value. So inside peripheral, we have mouse and monitor, which cost 508,000. So the amazing thing about composite is you can use the same operation on leaf object or even composite object. If it is leaf object, it will print the value. If it is composite, it will print all the values of the leaf objects. Now, amazing thing is if I say computer here, which is the top of the hierarchy, if I say computer at show price, you can see it will print everything. It will print, first of all, it will print computer. Inside computer, we have peripheral. Peripheral is printing these two objects. And then cabinet is printing the cabinet values, which is MB and motherboard, which is a part of cabinet. And then it is printing that as well. It's so awesome, right? So that is, that is how your composite design pattern works. So just to, just to give you a quick glimpse, we have, we have an interface, which is component. And then we have two classes, leaf and we have composite both are implementing components so that we have some common thing in between because whatever operation you want to perform on the leaf object the same operation should be, need to be performed on the composite object right so yeah that's how it works uh, we have done with the composite design pattern if you have any queries let me know if you liked this video please click on the like button and do subscribe to the channel for the further videos thank you so much for watching